You don't like your life? Change it. Well, tonight I'm going to give you the tools to do just that. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today, and you walk with Him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstraw. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. First Corinthians chapter 3, and let's read verse 21. Let no man glory in men for all things are yours say all things are mine, all things are mine. is this in your bible mm -hmm. we're gonna be talking about this tonight all things are yours verse 22 whether paul or apollos or cephas or the world what are you supposed to are we supposed to believe this i think so mm -hmm. all things are yours whether the world say the world is this in your Bible how could this be or life or death whether life meaning now or then mm -hmm. the world or the world to come all things are yours or death or things present or things to come okay he clarified it mm -hmm. <laughs> my point here is the Bible specifically says that all things are yours in this life in this present world use the word world yeah. all things say all things. all things and in the world which is to come mm -hmm. all things mm -hmm. say all things. all things well that's a lot of things you know there's verses of scripture that we need to live up to we've got a ways to go don't we because yes. that's a lot of things and you might not see it yet but nonetheless it's true mm -hmm. it's true well tonight I'm gonna give you some inside information we're gonna be going higher farther faster we're going to have to if we're gonna fulfill this verse of Scripture all things are yours and if you don't like where you're at change it well tonight I'm gonna to give you the tools to do just that well, I'm taking people somewhere and you can go with me or not but I'm taking people somewhere and the somewhere is what I just said all things are yours you want to go there yes. that's where I'm going I'm called to take you there I'm not called to just preach a nice little cute message for you yeah. 2nd Corinthians chapter 9 verse 8 and God is able to make all grace abound toward you that you always having all sufficiency in all things may abound to every all 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 every Amen. that's the definition of rich you want the Bible definition of rich read that verse of Scripture God is able to make all grace abound toward you that you always having all sufficiency in all things may abound to every good work look down at verse 11 being enriched or rich in everything being rich in everything is a gospel word well, I don't like the word rich it's a gospel word to be rich say to be rich, to be rich. Is, a word. is a gospel word all things are yours but God is able to make all grace abound toward you that you always having all sufficiency in all things may abound to every good work and verse 11 being enriched or rich in everything so God is able to make you rich say God is, able God is able to make me rich, make me rich. In, everything. in everything you're graced to get it you might not have got it before but you're getting it now why because his grace came on you to get it he's able to make his grace graced 
to get it when you didn't get it before he graces you with himself and the things that he has right now you might not get it you might be blocked by lack of capacity lack of understanding lack of intelligence he graces you with something you didn't have that's the whole idea behind grace is unmerited favor you couldn't get it you couldn't see it you didn't have the financial grace to go to the next level financially you didn't have the grace to go to the next level in healing or in youth renewal but he graces you to go there something you couldn't do before and God is able to make all grace abound toward you so that you always always all 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 in every we can't do that by ourselves. we have to have his grace changing us from one to the next are you seeing this yes. So what you may lack in capacity or ignorance or or intelligence or education mm -hmm. he can grace you to go there mm -hmm. say he can grace me, can grace me to, go to go there which means you, you might not be able to see it or, or even comprehend it now but he graces you to mm -hmm. comprehend it see it and go there and when the grace comes you have it you get it it changes you to the next thing mm -hmm. grace is an accelerating force it accelerates you from one thing to the next it moves quickly remember we're going higher we're going faster we're going farther because we're graced by God to do it it accelerates you beyond where you are now some people are wondering why well, can't get I, why can't I get my healing why hasn't my finances changed to where it seems like I have more money why you have to be accelerated beyond where you are now yes. does this make sense mm -hmm. God is able to make all grace abound towards you so that you always having all sufficiency in all things abound that would include healing mm -hmm. that would include having enough money more than enough financial grace healing grace youth renewing grace I hesitate to use the word grace because people get religious over it we've all heard religious sermons on grace we have all of these ideas about what it is but here God's saying he's able to make that specific thing abound towards you that causes you to be something you weren't before and you think you know what it is but you don't we all think we know what it is but you don't if you did you'd be you'd be going where we're talking about here all things yours say all things, all things. Mine. mine privileged you're privileged to be in a spot you weren't in before it's a privilege it just comes on you but how did it get on you it has to come from God that's what I'm talking about tonight is how to go from glory to glory how to have that grace abound towards you to take you privileged to the next place mm -hmm. privileged you just have it you didn't have it before now you just have it mm -hmm. worship multiplies God's favor towards you and grace is a favor of God he favors some over others listen he favors some over others well, I don't like it that way tough he favors some over others I hope I can this is a big part of this message tonight who do you want him to favor you mm -hmm. worship multiplies God's favor towards you the worshiper of him gets things from God that other people don't mm -hmm. access access to rooms access to glory that other people can't have touch or don't even know about what does that worshiping him access beyond where you are you, that's where you want to go right why are you even listening to this then we're going beyond where we are now 
graced to go there having access to go there having it just having it say just having it, just having it. frankly beyond where you should even be on your own merits worship does that I have knowledge that other people don't have I have knowledge other people don't have because I have come to know the Holy Ghost as the Living God God in the earth today and I worship him that gives me access that gives me privilege I'm privileged mm -hmm. to have access to grace access to unmerited favor things that I didn't deserve because I worship him are you here yes. there's doors open to me that I can walk through to go to another level that I couldn't before and worship multiplied grace towards me well I've come to know the Holy Ghost is the Living God God in the earth today the Spirit Lord he is God and I worship him many people don't you know this right many people don't worship him the Holy Ghost well if there are benefits to worshiping him right mm -hmm. if there are benefits to worshiping him God the Holy Ghost and I'm telling you that there are worship multiplies favor and grace towards you into having things beyond your ability if there are benefits attached to worshiping him and you don't do it can you have those benefits will you see those graces Will you walk through those privileges mm -hmm. you can't have them are you here yes. if there are benefits and privileges and graces and favors attached to worshiping him and you don't do it you can't have it can't can't won't can't what's the great side of that if i do i can right, right? those graces and those things are ever expanding they're ever accelerating and we're going on we're moving up we're going higher faster farther there are those who have things that others don't those who worship the Holy Ghost as God have something that others don't like I said God's not a a socialist yes he is he gives everything equal to everybody no he doesn't first Corinthians 15 41 and there is one glory of the Sun and another glory of the moon and another glory of the stars for one star differs from another star in glory you understand that right yes. some are bigger than others some are smaller than other others mm -hmm. some are brighter the Sun is a star we know this right mm -hmm. and it's actually a very small star compared to all the stars that are out there yes. he's saying they differ in glory mm -hmm. are they all the same no. they're all different so also is the resurrection of the dead he's comparing the glory that people will be walking in when they're resurrected from the dead as to the stars in the heavens one has lesser glory than the other one God is not a communist right mm -hmm. the Sun is a star there are stars that are smaller than the Sun and dimmer than the Sun but there's still a star there are stars that are literally a billion times bigger than our Sun say a billion times, a billion times. is that big yes. that's bigger than our whole solar system one star mm -hmm. worship increases and accelerates the favor and grace that's on you to go to a bigger place and a higher glory you understand what we're talking about here the glory that you will walk in is really it's very expansive mm -hmm. how do you want to be when you when when you leave this earth to go to the other you want to be 
the smallest star possible or you want to be the biggest star possible say I'm a star, I'm a star. <laughs> say worship increases, worship increases and expands, and expands the, grace. the grace use of the words I worship you Holy Ghost will take you there well I was given those words to use why to beat me down to keep me back no to grace me to go to another place they have graced me use of those words I worship you Holy Ghost has graced me and expanded me and put me in a different level of glory than I was before and if you can hear that you can have it I told you I was giving you tools to go there worship is one of them worshiping the living God because the living God is the one who gives you richly all things all things all things thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve if you come to the revelation and knowing that the Holy Ghost is God and he's the Lord your God in the earth what should you do worship him. worship him thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only serve mm -hmm. worship multiplies the favor on you and worship multiplies the favor towards your serving thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and the and, and him only shalt thou serve well we serve him by saying saying what speaking in agreement with him saying the things that he said a lot of people have been saying things for years and years but they haven't been doing the first part of that verse worship the Lord your God and serve him worship the Lord your God and say say worship and say say worship and say say worship and say you worship the Lord your God and you say which is your serving worship multiplies favor towards your saying worship multiplies grace towards your saying I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost and then I say living God gives me richly all things to enjoy favor and grace is multiplied in my saying from the worshiping mm -hmm. worship plus saying equals better faster farther mm -hmm. in fact it's unstoppable and there's no end to it unless you stop unless you end can you see so far that worshiping the holy ghost and speaking in agreement with him opens up graces towards you and favor towards you that you can't have without it yeah well then you can't get there without it he favors you when you worship him and speak in agreement with his words what's that called grace what's that called privilege i'm privileged to worship the holy ghost and speak in agreement with his word and it takes me into new levels of grace and new levels of glory that i wasn't in before how do you know I know where I was before and I know where I am now now remember I said worship magnifies the grace on the saying right because we worship the Lord our God and serve worshiping the Holy Ghost magnifies the grace that's on your saying are you getting this mm -hmm. and then when I say his word saying the word multiplies his grace and privilege toward the thing said what do you mean the thing said whatever that thing you were saying whatever that verse you were saying if i say the blessing of the lord makes me rich adds no sorrow with it when i say that it multiplies his grace and his privilege towards me in that thing in that verse if I say a healing verse the grace is multiplied towards me in that healing verse mm -hmm. but worship multiplies the saying 
and the saying multiplies the thing Holy Ghost notices you when you worship him and speak his word listen the Holy Ghost notices you when you worship him and speak his word I'm gonna say it again the Holy Ghost notices you when you worship him and speak in agreement with his word his noticing you is his grace even the angels get involved Psalms 103 verse 20 bless the Lord you his angels that excel say excel, excel. we've been talking about excelling mm -hmm. which means going faster farther bless the Lord you his angels that excel in strength that do his commandments hearkening unto the voice of God's Word mm -hmm. when you're giving voice to God's Word even the angels get involved is that a privilege yes. mm -hmm. who's it a privilege for people who are speaking in agreement with his Word right yes. does everybody have that can it be, be increased yeah the guy who speaks in agreement with God's Word worships him and speaks in agreement with his word all day every day he's got a lot more grace for those specific things he's saying mm -hmm. and the angels involved mm -hmm. way more than the other guy who said it once because he had to mm -hmm. what's the result of that the glory for the one is gonna be much bigger than the glory for the other mm -hmm. who didn't and wouldn't mm -hmm. that's a privilege and having something that you couldn't shouldn't and wouldn't is the grace that comes with that privilege so I worship and say I worship and say and grace is multiplied towards me as I worship the Holy Ghost and speak in agreement with his word you wonder why I say it all the time there's so much involved in that first Timothy chapter 6 verse 17 charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high-minded nor trust in uncertain riches but in the living God who's the living God Holy, Holy Ghost the Spirit Lord God in the earth today living God who gives us richly all things to enjoy so I worship the Living God and I say that he gives me richly all things to enjoy and grace is multiplied towards me in that and the Lord my God I worship you gives me graces me richly all things say he graces me, he graces me. richly all things I see that's the word give is another good word for grace he gave it to you why because you worship him and you say that living God gives you richly all things to enjoy so through worship and speaking and saying I enter into this a way that I couldn't before it was blocked unto me because I wasn't graced to go there now some of these things you're only gonna be able to know what I'm really talking about by doing it and I can say this and say this but if you don't do it you'll never be graced to go there and you'll never really know what I'm talking about well, when you begin worshiping the Holy Ghost and speaking in agreement with his word he graces you to go there and it's a place you weren't before does this make sense and it's a glory that you weren't at before it's a better glory and a bigger glory and they don't stop it's unending it keeps going and going and going unto ridiculous proportions it changes you you're changed from one glory to the next glory and then you get it when you're changed you get it and then you keep going and you get it again mm -hmm. are you here yes. so let it change you let it grace you when you are worshiping him and speaking in agreement with his word he will give you first an image of yourself there 
you will begin to see yourself there if you're speaking a word concerning healing you'll begin to see yourself there healed and not sick you begin he gives you an image of yourself there remember we're changed from glory to glory even as by the Spirit of the Lord beholding his image that's the image he's giving you is the image there you begin to see yourself there you begin to see yourself in a different financial situation you begin to see yourself in a youth renewed situation you begin to see yourself there are you are you here yes, ma that's him beginning to change you that's him beginning to grace you to actually go there he's changing you to be there mm -hmm. you there is a truly awesome thing you there is really cool say me there, me there. is really cool. really cool you there in that place enjoy all things worshiping the Holy Ghost and speaking in agreement with his word has changed me to where I believe those things I see those things I'm different and I have a new glory that I live in that I didn't have before you need to be willing to be changed we're going from glory to glory God is able to make all grace abound towards you so that you always having that means you've changed you're always able to have all things abound towards you right mm -hmm. well there's one more aspect of this we've got the worship part we've got the saying part second Corinthians chapter 9 verse 6 but this I say mm -hmm. say this I say. this I say what do you think Paul says this I say he says this mm -hmm. say Paul says this. Paul says this if it's good enough for Paul it might be something you might try he which sows sparingly shall reap also sparingly he which sows bountifully shall reap also bountifully every man according as he purposes in his heart so let him give you're the one deciding you purpose in your heart you purpose in your heart what glory level of glory you're going to be changed into it's up to you we talked about worshiping we talked about speaking who does the worshiping you do who does the speaking you do both of those things multiply grace towards you then who does the giving you decide how far you want to go in this every man according as he purposes in his heart so let him give not grudgingly or of necessity for God loves a cheerful giver Amen. the implication here is that he loves the one who's decided to give and to go this direction which means he favors them more than the one that he does that doesn't mm -hmm. verse 8 mm -hmm. and God is able to make all grace abound towards you that you always having all sufficiency in all things may abound to every good work God favors the giver God puts grace on the giver and you're the one who purposes how far you want to go these are the things you have control over you decide how much you're gonna worship God you decide how much that you're going to speak in agreement with his word and you decide how much you're going to give and be a giver it's as you purpose you decide how big of a universe you want to live in you don't like your life change it I've given you the tools of how to do it Holy Ghost I thank you for these people that they now have the tools and they understand the path that they have to take and that path and the grace to go on that path is coming on them right now and great things are changing on the inside of them as they begin to worship you Holy Ghost and as they begin to speak in agreement with your word and as they learn how to give grace will be multiplied to them to go to the next level and the next level and the next level and there is no end greatness awaits us and many of us are responding to the call we worship you Holy Ghost we thank you for it in Jesus name Amen, amen.
if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me holy ghost i worship you you are god in the earth today you are gracing me to go from glory to glory even as by you the spirit lord i give now and expect it to be multiplied back to me in greater grace and i shall go farther and i shall go faster and i shall be what you've called me to be in the earth and in the world which is to come in jesus name amen